Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited. There's a lot of tension backstage right now with the supposed favoritism WWE is showing to Brock Lesnar. Now, we all know what happened with Brock Lesnar. He went and fought at UFC 200, and he failed multiple drug tests. Many people thought WWE would possibly suspend Lesnar for the failed drug test, even though it was outside of the WWE. And we have learned that Brock Lesnar is not subject to drug testing in the WWE and cannot be suspended for a drug test failure. Now, there's two separate scenarios right now that I can link to Brock Lesnar that would make this really seem unfair. Roman Reigns was just recently suspended for 30 days for failing a drug test in the WWE. Okay, so your argument can be, well, Brock Lesnar didn't fail in the WWE. Okay, what about Billy Gunn? Billy Gunn failed a drug test in a powerlifting competition and was fired from the company. Now, now here's this one. On Monday Night Raw, Brock Lesnar had a segment with Heath Slater, and Heath Slater said that, I'm going to face you tonight, and if I can beat you, I get a contract on Monday Night Raw. He said that I have to do this no matter what, no matter who you are. I got my kids that I have to take care of. And Brock Lesnar said, I don't give a shit about your kids. They actually had to bleep the word on live TV. So many thought, oh, Brock's going to get in trouble. Maybe nothing. Brock didn't get a talking to. From what I have been told, nothing came of that at all. Now you also got to think, okay, people get in trouble all the time for saying stuff. I mean – Brad Maddox got fired for saying pricks in a promo on an unaired segment. So there's a lot of tension backstage right now when it comes to Brock Lesnar and other superstars because in the WWE's eye, to them, it looks Brock can do no wrong. We can go get in trouble for all this stuff, get reprimanded, and then Brock can come do whatever the hell he wants, and he's Brock. So do you guys agree? Should Brock be getting this special treatment? Should Brock be, I guess you could say, not get in trouble and able to do whatever he wants? It's a double standard, and I don't feel like Brock is any more, and I guess any bigger or any more of a – how could I How can I say this? Any more of a god or something? Like they're treating him like a god. Like he can't do no wrong. He can't be – I mean – I don't really know what more to say than it's unfair and that the WWE really needs to rethink this because it's it's sending a bad message to the superstars backstage to where uh, to the effect of like I said they can get in trouble for doing all these things accidentally slipping up and saying a curse word on TV failing a drug test going out and doing something outside of the WWE and getting in trouble for that they're going to get in trouble in the WWE but when Brock does it they laugh about it. It's like, oh, well, it's Brock. We're used to it. So if any more news does come up on there being tension backstage because of Brock Lesnar's favoritism, we will bring it to you on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember, guys, comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook and subscribe here on YouTube.